entrance into the jungle was accompanied by a wave of criticism, but is the tide of public opinion turning for Matt Hancock? Well, here to talk about that and more gossip from Down Under is former Queen of the Jungle, Toff. Right, so... No. Uh, I mean, we said right at the very beginning, there's really no hope of redemption for many people watching, uh, as far as Matt Hancock is concerned. Fairly divisive figure. Um, we also predicted he was going to do every trial, mm -hmm. and we still continue to predict that he could be first out. Has he... Yeah, you judge that you've got the politician and the guy. Um, they seem to have moved on, in part, away from the politician onto the guy. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. I feel like the country are now watching him, thinking about Podium Matt, and then they're watching him in the jungle and they're thinking, oh, this show does humanise people, and mm. that is what he went in there to do. Mm. And I think, as a viewer, it's quite tricky to watch someone giving so many traumatic things there, all doing it with gusto, with a smile on his face, and doing incredibly well, and craving this likability that Matt so wants, it's quite hard not to do, I'm not going to call it a screeching U-turn, but <laughs> to just think, actually, he might be doing all right. Because you were quite strong on it. I mean, oh, last yeah. time we asked you this question, <laughs> uh, this is what you had to say. So let's have a little, a little look. I think, you know, normally I'm pretty soft on the Tories, but I think this is disgraceful. What Matt is doing is, I think, really showing to the country that the man who is meant to be in control of our health going through this pandemic, not only did he cheat on his wife and get caught, he's now leaving his constituents to go to Australia to earn loads of money on a show and flaunting it in front of people that lost so many loved ones and went through the most horrific pain. So you were, you, yes. were, you know, you were pretty direct there. Yeah, I think it's okay to feel all of that. And I think millions of people across the country feel and felt exactly the same way as I did. I mean, this will make you laugh. A friend of mine in Westminster told me that I was on the guest list for his big book launch in a couple of weeks. Anyway, after that, scrapped oh. off. <laughs> anyway, we going? Sort of Are you just walking the dog that night? Again, anyway. Um, <laughs> no, I'm so not. <laughs> okay, it really okay. made me giggle. I thought, oh my goodness. Wouldn't have gone, but. Well, uh, he did have, he's been having a tricky time. I mean, yeah. it's like everybody is out to get him, not only in the trials, really? but actually the jungle itself when he's not even in the trials. <gasps> and he got a nasty sting. Doesn't the world work in the most mysterious, but on occasion, <laughs> wonderful ways? I mean, they do drill into you when you're in there. Make sure you keep your bag really tightly locked because there are scorpions around. I don't remember in the whole of the time that I've been watching The Jungle. Mm. No one's been sung by a scorpion no. before, and it had to be Matt Hancock, Let's didn't it? Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> OK, got a splinter. Wow, look at that, a scorpion. No way! Oh, I've been stung by a scorpion. Are you serious? Well, I've just been stung by a scorpion, so I might be less enthusiastic about no, sticking my hand in. We are woken into life by... By the scorpion. It's been a hectic morning. You know, I got stung by a scorpion. I had quite a full on morning, so I got stung by a scorpion. Mind you, if you didn't get, do get stung I'd by a scorpion, I tell everyone I would well. be talking about it as well. That, that, that was quite a tiny one, but obviously packs a bit of a punch. Yeah. Still, and he kept on going, twice a bee sting, twice a bee sting. <laughs> I'm thinking it actually might be a little bit more painful than that. Yeah. I thought he did quite well. He Bless did all right. Him. Right, let's talk about camp leader then. Um, mm. So just explain what this was about, because this was a, this was the public vote again, and they were yeah. voting for camp leader. Yeah, it's really interesting, because you could see the outcome as it being a popularity contest. Yes. You know, and it was him and it was Mike that was voted, so those are the top two. Do you think inside he was going, oh, my God? I've broken this through. I think so. This has happened. Th well, that happened to me. I was voted camp leader and I ended up winning it in the end. So it's not a crazy thing to think. Yeah. It's either that they despise you so much, which might have gone through his head, and that we're trying to Maybe curse they didn't the realise what camp. they were voting for. No, we all knew <laughs> what we were voting for. I've got a confession. I voted for him to be camp leader. Why? What was your reason? Oh, I just think it's the most insane scenario for those campmates to think, how on earth is this man who is universally hated, who's now leading camp? I feel like we do need a bit of friction because I am slightly bored of watching Matt do all of the trials. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of like I would fancy someone with a raging snake phobia to do the next trial because it's brilliant entertainment. Yeah, I know what you mean. I do hear what you mean. From raging snake phobia to um, Mike Tyndall swimwear. <laughs> and, uh, and so he stole the spotlight with uh, several viewers wincing at the multicoloured budgie smugglers. I haven't seen these yet. Oh, yes, they are quite... It's a hell of a sight. Well, the, bo the boys were um, <laughs> were joking that he maybe brought Zara's bikini bottoms over. They're very colourful, aren't they? Not what you were expecting. I just didn't see it coming from my kids. I've got to say, I mean, when you're packing your bag, do I go with the kind of safe, dark... <laughs> 
sort of normal <laughs> pant, the shorty ones, yep. or do I go for these bad boys? The budgie smuggler. floral. But don't you think he's the greatest gift for the royal family? Because that is true relatability. I mean, I think, for me, he looks like a total they, joker. It, they clearly all love him as well, wanting yeah. to do the maintenance. He's a very yeah. good yeah. hugger. Let's, um, let's have a look at tonight's exclusive oh, yeah. trial. Oh. Here you go. 11 minutes to unlock 11 stars. a snake right next to me. I can't find anything. Feel all around for the keys. Doesn't look like an easy one, does it, this? It's really It's tricky. dark, so you can't see, so there's a bit of luck as yeah, well. Yeah, this is it, and these fiddly keys trying to find them. I mean, really, and he's been through it this week. But he's not a panicker, is he? I mean, no. he had a, he's frightened of snakes, and the snake was at him last night. I know! So, and that is a bit scary when yeah. you see that. Guys, it is time for someone else to have a go now. I really think so, because I feel like your whole jungle experience isn't complete without doing a trial. And also, I want someone to be really scared. Is that awful for Let's you to see. admit? Let's see. We'll have to make it <laughs> happen. Thank you. Right.